this is absolutely the most interesting and varied group of things that we're selling at our sale next week that I'm going to give you a tour of now. Starting with, right next to me, a painting by one of the most important French Impressionist artists of the 20th century. This is by Marcel Dief, uh, and this is an original oil painting by him. Surprisingly, he lived until 1985, so it's quite a recent painting, this one. I think it was bought around 1980 by the present owner from a gallery in London, uh, and quite a good-sized painting by the artist. So estimate three to 5,000 for that one. And that's one of our main pictures from our two-day sale. Some really good other paintings in that sale. While we're on the picture section, we've got a number of works by this artist here, who is Daniel van der Putten, who is a Dutch artist. Um, he was only born in 1960, so still going strong. And we have about 20 paintings. These are original oil paintings by this artist. The one in the next cabinet is by him as well. Look at that fabulous detailed oil painting there by the same artist. And there's there's so detailed. You can look at look at them really close up. These are just as good in real life. So there's a whole run of paintings by him. Uh, we'll talk about some other things in this sale. Here on this tray, I've gathered a few um, quite rare items, quite unusual things here. So here's the first. This is a a key, which is actually a gun. This is a matchlock pistol that I'd imagine you could still use if you wanted to. Never seen one of those before. Um, this is a solid silver paper knife, or yes, for opening your letters in the form of a broadsword. Quite smart, isn't it? There's a, an unusual and completely useless item, <laughs> unless you want asparagus serving. So those are asparagus serving tongs, and they are Victorian, and they're solid silver. Look at that. And not, not quite an everyday item. This is something to wear on your watch chain, and it's a little barometer, and on the other side a compass. So it's just over 100 years old. It's a gold case to it. Isn't that lovely? Lots and lots of interesting weapons in this sale. You'll, we've got some good early swords, um, some very nice early guns as well. This is a Middle Eastern blunderbuss pistol here. A lovely shape to it, the, the butt of that and a silver inlaid barrel there. An interesting thing there. Uh, we'll just keep going and I'll pick out a few interesting things as we go around. These are very rare. These are early Worcester. So they're by Flight Bar and Bar. And these are immaculate condition. They, they date to about 1820. And they're hand painted um, botanical designs on there. Extremely rare. And above them, one, just one group from about 30 lots of medals in this sale, some fabulous groups, and the best lot of medals I've seen for years. And this is a military cross group, and so a first and second war group of medals awarded to the same man, with an oak leaf on the victory medal here, so this means that he was mentioned in dispatches in the London Gazette, so he did something amazing. And on the back is the papers and a bit of a story as well. Um, Lieutenant Colonel Foxton, Royal Army Medical Corps, killed in action in 1943. So that's his medals there. And there is, um, as I said, a lot of really lovely medals as well in this sale. We have Troika pottery here, that we don't quite seem to see quite so much of, of these days. More very detailed paintings by Daniel van der Putten again. I'm sure that's not how he pronounces his name. <laughs> um, just interesting things absolutely everywhere you go. We'll carry on over here. This is lovely. This is a Russian um, Soviet period marine um, chronometer. So it's a ship's navigational instrument. Um, very high quality watch there. We have more clocks and watches than we've ever had in any of our sales. It's so worth a look through. And... A large part of that is one, a single owner watch repairer's workshop who, who died. He lived 
live quite locally to here. So you'll, I'll show you in a minute, there's masses of watches and clocks and movements and repair parts. Uh, these are all being sold individually. These are all good quality French carriage clocks. So if you ever fancied a carriage clock, there'll be one there for you. Nearly all top quality movements in there. Um, we'll have a look at the, another very nice clock here. This is a French bronze cased clock. Uh, it's by Julien Lenoir, and this means the watchmaker to the king. Um, it's late 18th or early 19th century, and you can see on the front of this panel here, this is a bevel glass panel on here, which is very unusual, a little compartment for the pendulum. It's been running like that for the last week since, since it's been sat there. Ticks away absolutely beautifully. A very good quality clock, that. Estimate to be... Something over a thousand for that, I should think. And what else? Oh, fantastic collection of keys. So I featured these in another video. So we've got little group lots of these Victorian keys. Fabulous quality things. Look at that. I'm sure they must be of interest for display. Some silver presentation keys here. I think there are three or four solid silver ones there. Manacles. Nice wedding anniversary idea there. Um, these are time locking mechanisms for commercial safes. So these go in those massive, great um, eight foot circular safe doors. These are the time mechanisms for those. Here is an idea of the pocket watches that we're selling from the watch repair uh, person who died. And we're selling these by the box full. So look at that, there's about 50 silver. These are all silver cased, all 19th century. Another 50 in there, absolutely masses. Look at that, even that, just a load of watch movements and dials. Quite an interesting collection there. And going up here, we'll have a look at the weapons. All sorts here. Um, European, Middle Eastern, um, there's a sword stick. This is a Russian, um, so that's Crimean War period, Russian musket there, um, Victorian navy swords. Fabulous lot there. Lovely lot of furniture as well, well worth a look through in the catalogue, ranging from modern knoll um, chairs that would be about £600 each, these chairs, if you go and buy them new. Still setting the cell room up at the moment, so it's not quite ready, but getting there. But some lovely decorative furniture, so well worth a look through this lot. These um, ships binnacled as well, got two of those in this time. Very nice um, 18th century walnut chest there. And the other tables, Scandinavian glass, all sorts. White fryers. And Stuart Crystal, beautiful quality um, wine glasses there. And some good wine as well. And here, at the bottom of the steps, is further collection of the watchmaker's collection. So these are being sold by the pile. So that whole lot there is all in one lot. Another lot here. And if you just open some of these drawers, look at that. Load of watch movements. Masses in there. These are all full of tools and spares. And then here, look at that, just trays of interesting watch movements there. Masses of things. So they're, they're all in to sell as well. Lots of barometers. There's an original Victorian Cadbury's chocolate mirror up there. It's in a modern frame, but that's an original advertising piece there. And some lovely Tunbridge ware here as well. This one is depicting Battle Abbey. Some beautiful um, Tunbridge ware here. And this is by Robert Thompson, the Mouseman. There's a tray by him, a box, Louis Vuitton bag. Some fabulous things there. So, I'm uh, just going to change over, and Will is going to show you some of the jewellery and the watches now. Thank you very much. One. 
So just continuing on from the massive watch collection that we have in, uh, this is just a quick preview of the, there are some single lots as well. So it's not just all massive bulk lots. There are also lots of individual watches here. So lots of um, 18 karat gold pocket watches that we've taken out of these boxes, um, but it's from the same chap. So there's lots of different ones here. Repeat uh, pocket watches. There are smaller 9 karat gold and 14 karat gold fob watches. Lo loads of them in here. And that's not, that's not the only tray, there's another one there with lots of different wrist watches. We've got nice vintage Amigas and Jaeger and Waltham. And then, if that's not enough, another tray <laughs> with masses of gold cased wrist watches all in one lot there and other movements. There's a, a whole bag of different Rolex movements. And enamel cased watches. The list goes on and on. The best thing to do for this one is just to come in and have a look. It's just a fantastic collection. Never seen anything like it before. Another interesting watch in this sale is this, this Amiga. So this is um, a military issue Amiga. And you can see that by, if I just quickly move this, by that small arrow at the bottom here. That's the British broad arrow. And that's um, when uh, these watches are given as military issue. And this is an RAF uh, military watch. There's the back of it here. This 6B is the reference to the fact that it's an RAF watch. And there are lots of things on here that I could tell you about. There's a small T in a circle underneath the Amiga there which means that um, the luminescence on, on the hour markers here, it's um, been replaced with tritium for T instead of radium. <laughs> lots of different interesting things, but that's a fantastic watch there. We've also got lots of different nice vintage Rolexes in this sale. That's one. Another date version here with a white ceramic dial. And then a Boucheret wristwatch. Lots of different luxury wristwatches here in this sale. By far the best one we've ever had. And a few nice bits of jewellery as well. Walk around here and have a look. Starting off with these. All of, everything in this panel here is George Jensen. Danish silver. From a local private vendor. Beautiful bracelet. And these, <laughs> they're called amoeba earrings with clip backs. They're all very stylish, modernist um, jewelry. Some uh, This is made of steel and iron with silver inlay, but still all by, by Jensen. A fantastic array of rings. This is just a partial amount of them. A very bright one that stands out straight away is that emerald ring with diamond shoulders. From a, again, from a local private vendor. A beautiful diamond trinity ring at the back here. You've got to come in and try these on. You just have to. And then another collection of bits and pieces are these four here, which are all loose diamonds. And they're all different colors as well. So you've got orangey brown diamonds here. This is a, as you can see on the certificate, it's 1.46 carats. Pear cut diamond, you've got another orangey brownish diamond there, over a carat. A nice yellow diamond. I think that's about 1.4 carats again, and it's, it's estimated it's seven to 900. You wouldn't get that anywhere else. And then a, a tiny pink diamond. Very unusual. But a fantastic amount of jewellery, watches, silver, the lot, you name it and you'll find it here. So definitely do have a look at the catalogue or come in, as I said, to try on all the jewellery. Um, we're open from on Monday from 9 till 5, Tuesday from 9 till 7, with the antiques being on Wednesday starting at 10 and the pictures starting at 11 on Thursday. Thank you very much.